Hey everybody, it's Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. Uh, today we're going to make over our 1980s angel um, into hopefully something a little bit prettier. Um, right now it's got specks of maroon on there um, and so I'm going to paint it basically the same color for the background but we are going to make a face on it. We're going to put some hair on her and put a halo and then we're going to um, put some lace and some actually I think these are for tables uh, for under your platter or whatever. So we're going to use these because I thought the gray was pretty. I know a lot of people are watching Elizabeth right now. Um, and so hopefully um, after she's finished, everybody will come over here. And I just wanted to get started about five minutes early. And hey, Donna, it's good to see you. Hopefully some people will come on. A lot of people are watching Elizabeth right now. I didn't know she was live today, um, but I said I would be on between 6 and 6.30. Hey, Melinda. So I'm on about five minutes early. Um, I got off early today, and then I have a long day tomorrow. Hey, Miss Vicki. It's good to see you. Hey, hey. <laughs> so we're going to make over our angel, and the first thing that I'm going to do, hey, Michelle, Varela. It's good to see you, um, is paint the whole thing because we want to cover up this heart right here and we want to cover up all the specks that are on here. It looks like they just threw some paint and that might have been good for the 1980s, but I think it just looks outdated. Hey, Yvonne. Hey, Virginia. It's so good to see you. Appreciate you coming on. If you are um, late and you don't see the live, then please hashtag replay. I'd appreciate it. Hey, Christine Ponton. It's good to see you. Hey, Miss Rose. How are you doing? Hey, Miss Janet. It's so good to see you. Hey, Virginia Tanner. So good to see you. So I am going to use Waverly Plaster. You made it, Phyllis. That's good. Even if you don't make it and you have to watch the replay, then that's fine with me. Um, everybody has their life, and I just want you to come back and watch if you would like to see this made over. Hey, Miss Jenny, it's so good to see you. Appreciate you being on here. Um, some people are watching Elizabeth right now. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. Um, we are going to paint it the Waverly Plaster. I think that this will cover up a whole lot better than anything else. It does have a clear coat on it. Hey, Miss Sandra Dana, it's good to see you. It, you can't really see it. I don't know if I can turn it. You see how it's got like a sheen on it? They've probably put a clear coat on here. And to cover that up, I did sand it a little bit uh, to try to make the paint adhere a little bit better. But the Waverly chalk paint or any chalk paint is probably going to cover it up a lot better. So we're going to do that. I'm not going to worry about the back tonight. We'll just do the sides and we will do the front like we always do. Thank you for painting the page, Miss Vicki. I appreciate that. I've got some wire here. This is going to be her halo. Um, hey, Pat Tyner. It's good to see you. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and start painting this. And it's a lot lighter color, as you see. And it may have been this color to begin with, but because it's been here since the 1980s, then um, we're going to paint it, and it'll be a prettier, bright color. We want that for the background, even though we're going to be covering her up, except for her head, of course. And I am going to just put something on the back of her wings. Hey, Miss Nancy to make it look a little more lacy to go with the rest of it, but I'm going to paint these. So, um, we're going to leave it the color that I'm painting it, which is the Waverly white, or not white, but um, Waverly plaster, sorry. Hey, Wendy, it's good to see you. So, we're going to paint all of this. And it is a lot brighter. It almost looks white compared to the cream color that it was, but this is just such a, a dark color. And it had a star here. It also had something around her neck and it had a star on it. It looked real country, like back in the 80s. So I am gonna cover all this up. I'm gonna try to, that had a hole in it where there was something on there with the star. So I'm just going to cover all of that up, and we probably will have to do two coats. Hey, Lori, it's good to see you. Thank you for coming on. 
I appreciate that. And what have y'all been doing today? Did y'all have to work like I did? I got off about 4.30 and then I went to UPS store. And I'm even going to do her face, but I am going to cover that up with some peach color to make her face. But we'll cover the white first because my main concern is to cover up all of that burgundy color. And that's my main deal. So we're going to do that first. Did y'all have a good day? Did y'all do anything fun? Did you craft? Or just relax and watch TV and watch repeats? Back to work. Such a long day of training. Oh my goodness. I'm training somebody too, but luckily um, I think she's going to take the job and um, hope she likes it there. Hey, Miss Doris, it's good to see you. And hey, Kristen, just physical therapy. Well, I hope it's going well. I remember that day. <laughs> I had to do physical therapy on my shoulder. I had a problem with it. Now, I'm just going to paint this right on this paper. You could probably be a little bit more careful, but I don't really care if I slop it on there. You ran errands, no fun. Well, that's okay too. Maybe you got something accomplished. Hey, Linda Shearer, it's good to see you. Crafting with Terry Lynn. Hey, Terry Lynn, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming on here. Y'all have to check out Crafting with Terry Lynn. And let's see. It's already looking better, okay? You see how the difference right here where it's kind of dirty looking is what I call it. Hey, Ruth Adams. Hey, Miss Terry. And you said your notifications must not be working. It's okay that you're late. I came on about five minutes early, so that's, you know, that's me. I'm sorry. I've been trying to come on a little bit. I try not to race in here because sometimes I have to race in here. That's the reason why I kind of changed my time on Wednesdays between 6 and 6.30. Hey, Lynn Richardson, it's good to see you. Hey, Miss Virginia Tanner, you had to go get groceries, and that's depressing, so I need some crafting. Well, hopefully you'll like this. If you have a cardboard piece that you can cut out, then you can do this. This is what I bought at a, at a um, either a state sale. I'm not real sure. Hey, Miss Betty. Um, or I got it at Goodwill. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. So let me get this. And I did notice, and I didn't notice it when I bought it, but this part right here looked like it was about to come off. So I did try to take some of the glue gel that I used and I put it on here, <clears throat> excuse me, on here. So, um, hopefully it will not come apart there. I put it back together. So I didn't realize that it had that that part. So let's see here. Let me see if I missed anything besides up here at the, the wings. It's bigger than you thought. I know, isn't it bigger? I actually had this on my wall for a minute. I didn't do anything with it. And I'm like, that doesn't look good. So I think we need to redo it. Hey, Patricia. But it is bigger. It's bigger than you think pretty big <laughs> actually hopefully I'm not slinging paint on myself we're gonna get the sides real good because it sure does tell the difference if you don't get the sides too let me get the side of her head and everything hey Carolyn it's good to see you and Miss Nell I think that's what it says I'm really overdue to go check my eyes but because I didn't get my glasses until December, I'm going to wait until December to go so I can get it. You'll have to cut one out. Yeah, you'll have to cut one out and show me. This was easy. Um, it's easy to cut out. This one is. It's got three pieces, and I'll show it to you, but we're going to dry this real quick so I can paint another coat of it because it looks like it's going to need it. 
Let me try to get one little area. I want to get all these little extra pieces off. Because I don't want it to be a big blob of paint right on the corner or something. So let's see. All right. Let me try to dry it. I'm trying not to get in all my lace and stuff. FYI, Floating Hearts are giving the crafter on Facebook. We'll put her in more people's feed. You're right, Miss Terry Lynn. Um, it does help me to do all of the thumbs up or the hearts or any of that. It does help it because it'll go to more people's feed. She's exactly right. So I appreciate you saying that. Hey, Miss Patty Price and Miss Patty Willard, how are you doing? It's so good to see you, both of you, both Miss Patties. So all of those emojis help so much because it shows engagement that y'all like what I'm doing. So it tries to get everybody here. So it does help me. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to dry this a little bit so I don't put my, my shirt in it or something. Thank you for those stars, Miss Lynn. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. So I'm going to dry this. Let me get my top off or I'm going to dry it. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for just being here. Hey, Miss Catherine Hodges. How are you doing? So I'm drying this as quick as I can here. We are going to cover this up so you really don't have to do a second coat, but I probably will. Got my fingerprint on there. That's what I get for touching it. Let me dry it better. And especially the wings because I'm going to leave those the way they are and put a little bit of blue on there. I kind of want it to match all the gray. I just thought it was pretty. Thank you for painting the page, Miss Linda. I'm so glad y'all are here today. I had a pretty good day, even though it was busy. Hey, Miss Pat, how are you doing? Yes, the fresh paint did make a difference. You got that right. Ooh, it was so yellow and dingy looking. Hey, Rosa, thank you for coming on. All right, let's see. I'm not gonna worry so much about the dress part and this is actually crooked on here. If y'all can see it upside down, this is crooked. See how it's over here more than it is over here? Um, I didn't try to get it undone. I wonder if I can. Let me, let me see if I can pop it off because it is up a little bit. <laughs> Hope I don't smash it into my face. Hey, Janet Sherman, how are you doing? I did have a pretty good day, Miss Pat. Let me see. <laughs> Ooh, it's tougher than I thought. I don't know if they used wood glue. Let's see. It's not coming off too easy. So I might have to leave it there. But I am covering it up. I just kind of wanted it to be more in the middle. I didn't even realize that it was crooked until I painted it. Hey, Lana. See, maybe they put all those specks of stuff on there so you wouldn't know that. So. Boy, it's tighter than I thought. It doesn't matter. It really won't matter. I just thought if I could get it off, I'd fix it. But I can't do that. So it's just not coming off. I don't know what's holding it on there. Probably wood glue. So it's okay. Miss Pat's welcoming everybody to Hummingbird Paintery. Um, also, if you do this, even if you do it with cardboard or if you do any other crafting that you like, then please post it on Hummingbird Crafters. We love to see what you do. Everybody uh, comments and compliments people and your ability. I appreciate you being there too. Um, so definitely post for me, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do... Um, we'll do the head last, just like we always do. Take a hammer to it. <laughs> I probably will. Um, 
I don't know. I don't need to. Um, it's not going to hurt me or anything. I just didn't want it to pop off and, and hit me or anything. All right, so I've got these right here. Hey, Miss Tony, how are you doing? Um, and these are just, um, what are they called? It goes underneath the... <laughs> I lose my words on here. It's terrible. Um, tablecloth, or not tablecloth, whatever they're called. Um, that goes underneath your plate. Anyway, I'm going to use these. I've got like three of them. So it's going to be covering it pretty good. Hey, Linda, Creedon, a dolly. No, it's not a dolly. A placemat. That's what Terry, yeah, Terry. <laughs> See, a simple little thing like a placemat. That is what I'm trying to remember. Lord, when you get on here, you lose your words. Hey, Miss Deborah. <laughs> so you'll, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, thank you for saying that. I'm going to go ahead and paint one more coat just on the um, angel wings because I want it to be pretty. Because we're going to, I'm not going to do the sides, but just the top right here. Just so it looks nice and crisp. It is going to have some lace behind it because I think it would look pretty and it'll look kind of you know, like it goes with it. I'm doing good, Miss Linda. Thank you for asking. I know, you get brain fog. Sometimes I wonder. As long as I don't get dementia. But I think everybody does it. Everybody says that that happens to them too. So at least I'm okay, probably. <laughs> Let's just hope. It's like I know what it is, but I just can't get the word out. All right, so it's dry. We're good. And I'm just going to look at this and just see how it is. I've had three of these for a long time. This has got maybe a spot or two on it. I did get this at an antique place, or either I got it um, at an estate sale. You're doing great, Pat. Okay. <laughs> hey, Miss Mary, it's good to see you. All right, so I kind of want, I'm going to put a dolly at her neck, and we'll probably put a bling. I did get some bling from uh, Totally Dazzled, and these are smaller pieces. Um, I wanted some smaller ones because I have a whole lot um, of, you know, bigger pieces, and I just didn't want to do that. I've got some smaller ones, so they're really pretty. So we'll probably put one of those there or... Um, wherever I decide. If I want to put one on her head, I don't know. Um, hey, Diana. It's good to see you. So, I don't really care what it looks like up here at her neck because I am going to cover that up a little bit. We can piece everything. I kind of wanted to make this two different levels because I've got a second level here besides her wings. Technically, it's three pieces. It's this piece, the body, and then this part of her skirt. Hey, Miss Linda Tanner. Hey, Roberta. All right, so this is what it looks like on the back, but I will paint it um, to match. But this is this side, and then look at it brighter. It's so much better. And um, But this is just one whole piece. If y'all want to get a, a copy of this, if you want to take a screenshot so you'll know how to do the wings, then... Um, that virus last year. Well, I haven't had a virus that I know of, um, but you never know. You can, you know, lose your words at any time. Hey, Miss Beth, it's good to see you. But I didn't want to just paint this, and since I see that this is crooked on here, I sure don't want to. <laughs> hey, Roberta. Um, so I don't want to just paint it because that, it really looks off center when I painted it. Can you tell us how tall she is? She is probably 18 inches, I would say. About 18 inches tall. And you don't even have to have this piece right here. Um, it's just part of her skirt, but I was going to try to make it a little bit two-dimensional there. Skirt looks tacked on the back. Yes. Oh, you're right. 
You are so right. That is exactly what they did with one of those guns. They sure did. I want one of those guns. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I meant a nail thingy. <laughs> We're not supposed to say that word. Oh my goodness. But yeah, it is tacked on the back. So I want one of those though. You like the design? I like the design. It's just that it's crooked right there. And I didn't even notice it until after I painted it. And then it's so bright and everything. Jenny's got to go. Oh, good eye. Yeah, she does have a good eye. It probably has wood glue also because it sure wouldn't come apart. Thank you, Jason, for those stars. I appreciate that. So I'm just going to kind of look. I'm going to... This is pretty long, okay? This is like a regular placemat. Yeah, tool. You're right, Miss Rose. Um, and then I'm going to just take it up at the top and kind of just fold it in a little bit and just let it flow down because we're going to make her dress. I'm going to kind of just pinch it a little bit right up here at the top. So I may not be able to make it dimensional, but I am planning on using the flower that I didn't use on the other one. I'm going to kind of um, take part of this off and put it on the front of this, okay? So it's going to make it prettier, <laughs> Miss Pat. You know how I am, Miss Pat. <laughs> Y'all know how I am. <laughs> All right. So I'm kind of going to glue this, but I don't want it to be too much puffy up at the top. Hey, Sue, uh, because I want to put a dolly up there. And you really could cut that or you could go down a little bit lower. But I want all of this to be on here. Hey, Kathy Fuller. You love the embroidery? I do too. I just think it's going to add something. So I really kind of will have a two-dimensional type of thing anyway. So I'm just going to kind of fold this a little bit so I can make it flow down. And then I will tack it to her a little bit. I'll have it flowing and, and just... We may cut some of it, but I'm going to try to just gather it. So, um, I'm going to take some of my my hot glue here, and we're just going to start it up at the top, and I'm going to just take it the long way, and we're just going to pinch it a little bit, but I don't want to have too much gathered because I want to put that doily. And then we're just going to take it, and kind of go over her shoulder, but just right here at the edge, okay? Hey, Candace, how are you feeling? Miss Candace was my boss, y'all. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Susan. It's so good to see you. I'm just going to pinch this a little bit. I don't want it to go all over um, the wing. I just want it to be close, but I'm going to do that on both sides so it looks like her dress a little bit. We're just going to fix it a little bit. I'm going to kind of go on the side with the hot glue, and I'm going to show it to you as soon as I get this part done. So I just want it to be a little close here, and it'll look prettier when she gets her little collar on. You have tons of those embroidery towels. My mom collected them, so now you have all of hers. Well, that's good. All right, so this is going to be the start of her dress, okay? I liked this because you could put blue eyes on her and she would look really pretty with both of them. So, Patty, you're you're lucky to have all of those if you want to use them like this. So, since they're not sentimental or anything to me, then I, I just do what I want to as far as my crafts go. We do want her wings to show, so we are going to glue this down some, okay? We're going to do it all the way down, but I want to gather it some here, and this is really a little long. But if you, this has got a hanger on the back, so you can put this on the wall, and it'll just look like her, her dress is just flowing down. So it doesn't really matter. This doesn't sit up, so it doesn't matter if this is flowing past the wood. Hey, Ellen, how are you doing? I appreciate you being here. All right, so I'm just going to keep going down her. And we're just going to kind of go with the flow here and make it just like her body. So we're going to just put a little bit of glue on the side right here and at the top. I'm kind of just leaning it over a little bit, the edge, with the glue. And we just want to make sure that we don't, we have enough of 
the wing so we can see everything, okay? So I'm just doing a little bit at a time. And then we're just gonna keep going. But I just want all of the edges to be going down the side of the angel. And then we will kind of move this how we want it. Because there's plenty of room, okay? So we're just gonna keep going. We're not gonna worry about that having two levels since I couldn't get it off. And since she was so right, it is on there <laughs> for life. And I don't wanna have to undo that. So we're just gonna keep going. But I wanna cover it up just to pretend like she's got some dress all the way around. But we don't want too much on the back because it just won't do right. Um, it won't sit right on the wall if you do it too much, but I want it to go kind of around there just a little bit. So I'm just doing it just like this, okay? You're seeing this, the back. And we'll tack it down as much as we can on the sides. So I'm just gonna keep going. And it just looks like that her dress is just kind of puckered at the bottom. Hey, Melissa Dickerson, it's so good to see you. I appreciate you being here. Ooh, I stuck my finger in that. That hurt. All right. So I'm kind of just pulling it and pulling it like this. See those puckers? I want the puckers there. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Hey, Diane. And I forgot I was fixing to say, Miss Peggy, it's nice to see you. I appreciate you being here. All right. So I'm going to take the other side and we're going to do the same thing. We're just gonna keep going down where all this is together here at the, the edge. And we're just gonna keep going down the angel on the side. Cause we're gonna make it look pretty. And I like this. We're just gonna keep going. I'm doing a little bit at a time. I'm so glad you're here, Melissa. Appreciate that. And I am going over the edge, just like I said, and you just want to kind of pucker it a little bit, just so it looks like her dress is flowing. And I'll show it to you once we get done. And I probably will put a little bit more um, on the back so it'll be fluffy there. I mean, fluffy, flat, flat there. Hey, Connie, it's good to see you. And we're just gonna keep doing this. And try not to, to hit your hand because uh, the glue is hot. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the edge right here. That way all of this is gonna be sitting down, laying flat. So I'm just gonna make it lay flat because we don't we want it to sit right and it will because if your nail is a little bit out some then it's gonna sit flat on there and the wings are also in the way so this little bit of material is not gonna bother. Thank you for spreading the joy, Miss uh, Diane. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm gonna keep going here. Try, this one I didn't get as much on. Keep hitting that. Now some of it's just on the side and some of it's on the back. So I'm just kind of, ow! That was, that was smart. It's okay that you're late. You're working in the yard. Well, you need a glass of tea and some company. And that's what we're here for, Miss Connie. I got my tea right here. Because it is hot out there. All right. So here's the way this is laying right now, okay? We're going to make this look a little bit better. I'm going to pucker this a little bit. And we're also going to make that area with this one, okay? Because I want this little design to be on there. I think they're pretty flowers. And see, this has a spot on it, a little stain, but I bought it anyway because I like it. Hey, Miss Crystal, how are you doing? Hey, Judy. So I like it anyway. I don't care if it has a, a dirty spot on it because it just makes it look old and nice. So 
I'm just gonna do it like that. So I'm just gonna take some of this and make some gathers right here. And we're just gonna kinda put this one on top of it, okay? You can do a little bit down here at the bottom to kind of make it gathered. But because the sides are together, I can't do as much. You have water and watching you. And my husband went to get a chef salad for dinner. That sounds good. That sounds yummy. I had a chicken sandwich today and it was good. Do y'all have a belly acres where you are? Let me see. I'm trying to make this look a little more gathered. All right. Let me see what I want to do. I want this down here at the bottom. And I think I'm going to cut this part off here. Hey, Teresa. It's good to see you. Let me see where my good scissors are. It rained all night. Well, you know, my yard is loving the rain. And you don't have a belly acres? Oh, my goodness gracious. I did not know of it until a drug company bought us some belly acres. And it is some kind of good, y'all. All right, I tried to do this straight across. I'm not very good at it, obviously. Here we go. <laughs> so, it'll look like the part of her skirt. Too hot and tried to cook. I love to cook. No, never heard of them. Never heard of belly acres. It must be just here in Memphis. I, I don't know. All right, we want this to show, and I'm putting it up a little bit higher than this, and I'm going to just kind of make it flow a little bit. This is just mainly going to sit there. Let me see how I want this, because I want it to be pretty. What type of food? Um, they've got like hamburgers and like grilled chicken sandwiches. And they have those uh, potato chip looking potatoes, but they're homemade. Oh, they're so delicious. It's really, really good. It's really good. All right, so because I'm terrible, obviously that is not straight across, right? So I'm going to try to do it better. Because I want it to look even. That looked really bad. <laughs> So, I'm going to try to do a straighter line. <laughs> Let's see. Boy, when you gather it, you don't realize it is really good, Connie. I, I enjoyed my lunch today, that's for sure. Tear it. I don't know if I could have torn it across that way. I might have could have torn it down. Hey, Miss Sheila, it's good to see you. So I'm going to try to go right here where her waist would be, which is right about in here. And we're going to gather this right up here at the top. And I might make her a belt or something. Let me see here how this is. It's about right in here. I'm going to do it right at the top where the second layer is. You've never been there, so you're glad to hear your recommendations. <laughs> you need to go, Miss Patty. It is so good. For fast food, I think it's fast food or semi-fast food. And it's really good. Definitely. All right, so I'm kind of just gathering this together right here. And I might even put some flowers right there. I don't... I don't know. We could put some of those um, sola flowers there. Turn it under at the top. Yeah. You're probably right. Let me see. Yeah, you're right. Great idea, Vicky. Because it, then it'll look like it's supposed to be like that. All right. But I do want to get it on the side over here because I want it to look like it's supposed to be a rounder. And then we'll do the same thing over here. We just got to watch it. And then, yeah, that looks a lot better. But it just, it needs something around her neck and to cover that up. So I want to put this on and then we want to make sure that we put, you know, a um, 
doily or whatever we decide okay i've got several little doilies right here so because it, it it just doesn't look like it's supposed to so we're going to do that i'm going to take this and i'm just going to do it right here at the edge and we'll start it there and then just kind of go around so i'm taking that and we're just going to pinch it right there to make it look look like it's supposed to Hey, Carolyn, and hey, Miss Norma Troxel, how are you doing? All right, so I'm going to keep just pinching this a little bit. I'm just going to go in a line, and we'll just pinch it in the glue like that. I'm just going to keep going. Let me put some glue right there. Hey, Miss Peggy. I'm just going to keep going and kind of pinching, gathering. So we're not going to sew. You can hit those gatherings with hairspray, then hold steam iron on it and make it a gathered look. Huh? Well, that's pretty cool. Never done that. And then we got one more little area. So I'm going to kind of go over the side of this and make sure that this end is on the edge. So we just want to make it so... We have kind of a gathered look. Let me fix this under here. Let me go down it a little bit with glue. And that looks cute to me, but it's gonna look a whole lot better with something gathered around her neck. And I kind of want to make that a little bit down a little bit. So I'm going to try to do this just a tad right there. There we go. All right. <laughs> Did I freeze up? I hope not. Let me try to get this under a little bit. Just on the edge. And hold it a second. I'm doing a good job with gathering. I'm trying to a little bit. I just want it to look a little better. Let me see here. I've got this also. And I've got the rest of this. And that's part of that. wonder if I could... Let me just play with it. This is just a piece anyway. We do that a lot in dollhouse stuff. That's cool. I'm going to take this and I'm just making it a U. We're going to see if we can gather this around her neck. I know that's bizarre, but we're going to see what we can do. Because I want to cover that part up a little bit. So I'm just winging it here, y'all. I didn't have a clue what I was going to do. But if I take this, let me see. Oh, that looks better. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna kind of move this behind her neck and then we're just gonna do it this way. This is probably too big a piece. <laughs> You'll feel so much better. Well, I'm not sure I didn't read all that. I'm gonna have to look back. Let's see. If I do this all in the middle, Cover that. I still want to put a doily up here, but this is looking better. Wait just a second and I'll show you. Now, I don't have anything down, but look at this cuteness. <laughs> look at that. Is that not cute? And then we'll put a doily right over the top. But this covers up all of that and it just looks like it's underneath there. Isn't it cuter? So, I think I'm going to do that. 
And I kind of just pinch this over the back. See how this is? And it fits on there a lot better. So I ended up using the piece that I cut off. So it's really a better thing. So I'm going to put some glue right here at the corner. And we're going to do it this way. I'm just winging it. I don't know how I'm going to do. Hey, Lena Miller. It's so good to see you. It looks like a choir robe. It does, Miss Vicky. It sure does. Now, I'm going to take the end of this. Let me put the same thing over here, a little bit of glue, and then we'll gather all the other up. But I just want to make sure that we have this right in here. And then we're going to gather all of this up, just like this, just together, and make it look cuter. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Hey, Carrie Richardson. All right, I'm gonna go up underneath here and I'm just gonna put like a long bead of the hot glue. And a little on my finger. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, but we wanna cover up this part. So let me get just a tiny bit right here. And kind of pinch this in here. I'm still going to put the doily on here because I want to cover that up too since it's not perfect. So let me do a little dot right there. And then I still want little dot right there even. Sometimes you got to just look at it. To see where you want it. And then I need a dot on this side. But it's going to look a whole lot better with a dolly on it. So that looks cute. I need to pull this part. I'm probably going to just cut those pieces off right there because we don't need them. Just like that. But now she looks like this. We can fluff her up a little bit, so this will show. I just like the flowers. And then she look, it does look like a choir robe. Hey, Chrissy. <laughs> so now we're gonna get a piece of this. And you can use this one. It's a creamier color. I don't know if I've got one that's white. Let me look. I've got some stuff sitting here. I know these are a little bit bigger. I don't know if we need to use the other one or not. You love it. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. See how much that was. That was $2 for this. $2. All right. And I've got this one. They all look about cream color. They don't really, this one may look a little wider, but that's too big. This one was $2, too. <clears throat> Goodness gracious, what do I want to do? That almost looks too big. You know, I've still got this one that's brown, just half a one. Hmm. These are too big. And this one is like this. Wonder if that would look all right. Half of it. What do y'all think? Love the dress material. Do you have any batten la Battenberg lace? I don't even know what that is. Battenberg lace. What is that? You know, I've got some lace that I don't know if that's what it's called though. Hey, Miss June, how are you doing? 
That's all right. You can come on anytime you want to. Hey, Irene, it's good to see you. Let me see. Try to get this off of here, and then I'll show it to you and see if you think it's good. Try some lace. I do have lace, but I don't I don't have any in here with me. Um, I'm trying to look to see what I've got in the drawer. Hold on. I've got some lace on the bottom of this. Hey, Rhonda Snyder. You think it looks good the way, just like that? I just think it ought to have something right here. This is cute. I almost hate to tear it up. This has a butterfly on the bottom of it. These are gloves. I wish I had some lace. This may be okay. Just pretend that it's half. Well, it needs lace, doesn't it? Paint the dolly, maybe? I don't know. It'll make it hard unless I use regular. I'm trying to... Hmm... I have lace, but I don't know what I've done with it. Let me look over here. There's this one thing. I've got like a rose. Those roses from the, um, oh, what do you call that? From Hobby Lobby. Let me look. See this rose right here, this fabric? Or I've got this, there's some lace. Put a blue bow there to match the flower. Oh, that's a good idea. Because everything's white. This is pretty white. Let me see. I could put one of these on there. Let me see if I can get it real close. I've got to take part of this lace on the back of it off. One of the roses looks pretty, pretty there. Let's see. Let me get that part off, though. Okay. Or I could put a bigger, I don't know. What do you think? It just needs something. If I have a bigger one of these, got that big one I didn't use, let me see, the other day. That's kind of too big, maybe. I don't know. If I do a silver, see how big that is? The lace would look better. I think so, too. I'm just going to try to find some, some lace. I have some that gathers. I don't know what I did with that. I've got ribbon. I so have some. Let's see. Oh, I've got some little roses too. Let me get my cutter because I can't get it off of there. I'm going to break my neck. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> yeah, that's not going to do good either. I need some lace, and I need it now. <laughs> Lord, where's that big old thing full of lace? I made a mess. 
over here. And I don't have the lace. I've got some white and gold. I can't find my lace, but I know exactly where what it is. I just got to find it. So, um, this right here is some gold with white. If I take this and kind of gather, but I just don't know. I think it needs lace. So, we're not going to put anything on there, and I'm going to go ahead and finish her out, and then I will do that later because I don't think I like anything. I think it would look a whole lot better if I... Um, do it with the lace, because I sure have some pretty one, pretty lace. I just don't have it in here. I don't want y'all to, to get bored and leave me. All right, so we're just going to move all this stuff over. This is like old. Look at this. I don't even know where this came from. It says, home sweet home, 18 feet, 27 feet, 36, 45 feet. Wonder what it is then. It says six feet. Hey, Miss Janice. All right, so we're we're not going to worry about that. And we will just finish out. Hey, Miss Germain. It's okay if you're late. That is quite all right. So we've got our prettiness right here. And then we're going to make her face, okay? So I'm going to move this. I got all this stuff in the way and all that. Just didn't know what I was going to do. And I've also got her halo. We can put lace on the halo or we can just leave it black. I don't know. <laughs> You'd never get bored with me. I don't know. You might. Maybe from one of your estate sales. I have this big old roll of lace. And it's really pretty. It's kind of cream color. Any pearl ribbon. I do have pearls but they're smaller. I've got one bigger and one smaller. Let me get that and just see. I have these like this. Is that what you mean? No, no, no. Is it a wood cut? Yes, it is. This is the back of it and it's not painted very well. So that is I could. I don't know. This is pretty, but I don't know that I like that. And this is too little. So I'm going to do the lace on the top, but I'm going to ribbon pearls. I don't know exactly what that is. I've only got this kind. Is that what you mean by ribbon pearls, Terry Lynn? Or put it around this. Put the ribbon around, I mean, the pearls around it. Yeah, that would look pretty, wouldn't it? Okay. I'm going to do that. Let me, let me do it. <laughs> let me do this. I'm on carpet in here, so I have to, let's see. Let me see if I can get this all the way around there. That would look better. We'll try this. Yeah, that's smart. Smart, 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 Miss Terry Lynn. Yeah, that looks a little better. Let's see. Could have bought a whole box of dollies off a friend's yard sale, but didn't have a way to get, get it. Oh my goodness, she could have sent that to you in the mail. That's a shame. My goodness. Especially if it was a good deal. Because doilies are expensive. Y'all saw I paid $2 for just one doily. Sometimes I will. Sometimes I won't. If I really like the doily. Because it's they're expensive though. Alright, so let me... Cut this right here, and then make this go right there, 
And that way it looks like that. So much better she was right. Put that. I didn't even think about that. All right. And then we're just going to have the black part on the back. So we'll end up putting this on. But I want to go ahead and do her face first. That was genius, genius Terry Lynn. All right. So I'm going to take some... Move my little angel girl. She says hello. <laughs> and... We're going to just take one of these smaller brushes and do her face with the peach color. So I've got black and white here already. And I'm going to use the peach. I've got it upside down. They were so pretty. I was wanting them for a couple of craft ideas. You should have. You should have bought them and then just had them send them to you. Hey, Miss Ann. All right. So let's do this. And we're going to put some, some hair on her. So it's going to cover up part of this face. So I'm not going to do it all the way to the edge. We'll just do part of it. And I'll show it to you. Let me do the circle here. Because we're going to make her cute. And right now she's hairless. It's good to see you. Hey, Miss Lori Tomlin. It's good to see you. So let me do, let me dry this. And then I'm going to see if I need another coat for her face. We want her to have a pretty little face. It doesn't really need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just one more coat. Hey, Julie. It's good to see you. Want to make sure we don't see any white from underneath. So we're just going to paint. I mailed your happy mail. Well, thank you. Oh, it had the wrong zip code. That's okay, Miss Peggy. All right. So now we're going to have to have a little bitty brush. Okay. I'm going to move this out of the way and kind of move this out of the way so I can get to my black. We need a small little bitty brush right here. And hey, Miss Nancy Byers, it's good to see you. We also have this one, and this one's a little bit better, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Let me get my stuff out of the way here. I have so much stuff. All right, so... Right now, I'm doing it like this. I'm going to do these eyes a little bit different. They look funny right now, okay? But they're not going to. But they really do look funny, don't they? <laughs> so I'm going to kind of do them like I did the angel in my living room. So let me paint this. And I may do them bigger. You know to do them smaller at first. you don't know exactly what size you need and it's better to go small and then get bigger let me get this kind of down here And then you know we have to do something cute for the cheeks. All right. Let me make sure this is coming up here some. All right. So this is what it's kind of looking like right now, okay? My hand's steady. <laughs> so let me see. I want to do it just a little bit thicker. Not too much because she's not huge. Okay? So we're going to just make it look a little elongated here. I'm going to go down further. And the same thing here. I'm going to go a little bit down further. Now, 
And then we're just coloring it in. It's like I don't quite know. All right, and we're gonna make some eyelashes and stuff, okay? We're also gonna make our eyes blue because we wanna, you know, put this blue in there as well. So let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna try to move this stuff on the floor. I'll clean it up in a minute. Look, I've even got these in here. Don't ask me why I brought them in here. <laughs> so, let's see. What was I going to do? Um, blue. That's what I was getting. All right, so we're going to use... That doesn't go at all. We need more blue. And we might have to just take this blue right here and tone it down some, but I think this blue will be okay. I'm gonna do both and we'll just see which one we like better. I have to send her address to you. Oh my goodness. All right, let me see here. We're gonna do some little lashes. So we wanna do that before we get rid of the black. I need a little bit of water. You want it to be flowy, so you want a little bit of water on there? <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lorna. It's good to, to laugh, let me tell you. All right. So she's looking prettier. Let me get the ones up here. All right, so here's our little lashes. I'm trying not to get the dress in the black. Let me move that so you can see her a little bit better, okay? And we're gonna make it a little bit better than this. I wanna make sure that it's exactly the way I want it, and then we're gonna put the color on the bottom. So let me make sure here. And that looks better to me. So I'm going to take the black and get rid of that. Thank you so much for the hearts. I appreciate that. That does help me. You like them, Michelle? They're cute. I'm going to get some more white because this is kind of dried up a little bit. And I don't want it, you know, you've got to have fresh white for the eyes. So I'm going to put a little bit right there. And then close this back up. And then I'm going to um, get the blue. Now, I don't know if I want this blue. Let's see. Now, I'm going to put a little bit. It kind of looks royal blue. But if we tone it down, it's probably going to be the right shade. So, I think I'm going to try that first. And if it's ugly, then we'll put this other color, which is the cloudless, I think. It is. It's cloudless. So, this is really too bright. Okay, so we're going to tone it down just a little bit with the white. So I'm just taking a little white, and we're just going to mix it together either way. So this is, that matches. Would love to be able to paint eyes as you do. Well, you can sure try. I know you can probably do it. It's not too, too hard. Let me try to go on here. I'm going to do this. I'm doing it at the bottom. And I'll show it to you as soon as I get this part done. Now, I may need to go over it again. And we'll see. All right. So, let me move this. And see how she's got blue eyes. And we're going to put a little bit of white underneath that, okay? So let me get the blue off of here. I think it's pretty good. And then we are going to put the white on. And then we'll outline everything with the black. And we're also going to use some brown. 
We're gonna use my illustrious brown oxide, but I do have another bottle that's already open. Here it is. Um, we're gonna put this on there and it's gonna make it look a lot better. So let me do that real quick. Let me get this out on the on this. There we go. Just want enough. I use this so much I have to buy it all the time because I really like it. So I'm gonna take just the white by itself and we're gonna go up underneath the blue with a little bit of white. It'll make it look a lot better. And I might have got it in the blue just a little bit. So I may have to do another coat. So we'll see. It didn't dry as much. Let me get this just a little bit more round. And let me put a little bit more white where the blue went in there. We don't want that. And I want this one just a little bit more white there. There we go. All right, so here we go. Isn't she getting cute? She's getting cuter. All right, so we're gonna make the brown, okay? And I'm gonna use a small brush. You want a flat brush. I don't know if this one's damaged too much. I gotta go back to um, Hobby Lobby and see if they have these little tiny brushes because I like them. Hey, Celeste, Chester, it's good to see you. All right, so I want this size. I've also got this size, but these are really starting to get worn. It doesn't take very long. I'm gonna try to use this one a little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is get it a little bit wet. First thing, kind of push it a little bit. And then I'm gonna just take this and get a little bit of the brown on the side. Let me see how it does. That's not too bad. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna just go on the outside of the eye here and it won't do, great. I either don't have it on the edge. Now you can do this with a regular brush. It's not doing, okay, come on. I don't have it right on the edge. There we go. Because the, the brush is just not really good anymore. I'm doing the best I can here. Let's see if I can pull it out a little bit. And I'm probably gonna have to go back over the black just a little bit. I'm wanting it to be a little thicker, but it's just not working. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna do it again on the other side, even though it's just not working good. You're going under the eyes and kind of around, but use a brand new brush. This is just not, not doing good. All right. Now I'm gonna make a, what does your shirt say? It says good vibes. Here, here. let me see if I can do it, even though this, there we go, see? Good vibes, now let me get back where I can see you. There we go. <laughs> Check out my Etsy shop for sure. All right, so let me get this little brush again, and we're gonna take the brown and we're gonna make her a little nose, okay? Make sure you don't have too much water on there because it will make it 
make it too wet. All right, and we need to put a little bit more black on the eyes where the brown went into the black. We don't want that. Give me just a second to fix this. And then I'm fixing this one. All right. So right now she kind of looks sad. <laughs> hey, Celeste, thank you for that, Miss Maria. All right, so she's there. We're going to put a little bit black on the left side a little bit because it just seems like it's a little bit smaller than the other one to me. And I'm going to do it a little bit right there. And we're going to go right here. That's cuter. Okay. And when we put the white in there, we're going to be a lot better. And then I want to, I guess, I don't know. I guess we ought to use black. might be too severe being black. Let me see here. Let me put some white little dots on there and we've got to put her some cheeks. You want to get enough paint so you don't have to really do it but one time with one dot. It makes it a lot easier. And I'm going to take this and go on the inside of her nose a little bit. Like that. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. I'm going to take the brown here, and I'm going to make her some eyebrows. And I'm just going to kind of do this. Just a half a moon. A little bit. Like that. Okay. So cute. Thank you. She kind of looks a little sad and a little, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> but that's okay. I like her. I like her anyway. All right, so we're going to make her some little cheeks with my pink. We're going to get her some hair. She's going to look a whole lot better with hair. Hey, Tammy Shoe. The blush really makes it. To me and she also needs some under her chin and I'm gonna cover up if I make it if I do a little bit on her shirt so it doesn't matter and I also put a little bit on her forehead I just feel like she needs that she's got more of a cute look that way but don't worry about the pink on her shirt <laughs> sweet little face she really is cute doesn't it make it look a lot better when you've got that blush on there? Thank you for the hearts. Thank you, Tammy, for saying that. All right, so we're going to make her some hair. Let me move this so we don't get everything into the paint because I'm bad about sticking my, my stuff in it, my hand or anything. All right, so I've got some moss, okay, that I want to use for her hair because this looks like hair to me. She's so sweet. Thank you. Ooh, I'm making her dirty with her hair. I was going to use yarn, and I don't know. Um, let me make sure that everything's dry because I don't want to put the hair on there and then it be all messy. So we're going to make sure this is dry. 
And I just thought of something else too. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna um, get a little bit of brown and I'm gonna make her a little dimple, a little bit of a dimple. And I think also I wanna get the white and go above her mouth. see. I don't know why I want to go on top of her mouth, but I just do. Just a little bit. Moss for the hair is a great idea. So hopefully this is going to look cute, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do, we're going to start at the top and I'm just going to put some at the very top. Now, she does have a hole there so I can put her halo, but I don't want to do that until I get her hair on. And it'll go underneath there. So, I'm kind of just going to do this a little bit. We're going to end up folding it over to the front. My goodness, she looks cute once she has hair. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. So let me get some on the edges here because we want to get it up to where her face is so it doesn't look funny. So let's see. I'm pinching this over so I don't get burnt. So I'm being very careful. Hey, Kelly Miner, it's good to see you. So I'm ma mainly going around her face so we can cover up right next to her, her actual skin tone. So let me see here and I'll show you as soon as I get that done. And then we'll see how long we want her hair. Because I've got a good chunk of this. So let me see. I got to pinch that. Oh my goodness, she looks so cute. Oh, this looks way cuter, y'all. Hey, Melissa Miller. Thank you for coming on. Goodness, she's so cute. Okay. <laughs> she's so cute. You like her original, but love her. All right, let's see. I love her hair now that I've got this on here. I got some of this at an estate sale, y'all. You have to look at estate sales for everything. You don't think about stuff like craft supplies, but they have them. Let me get some right here. We want some all the way down. So let me pinch this on here and let me pinch this. Oh my word, she's cute. Okay, let me make sure. And I've got little pieces, so I'm gonna have to trim right here because we don't wanna cover her pretty little face but I also want some of it to... Now, <laughs> look at her though, isn't she cute? All right, so we gotta fix it in the back so it'll look a little bit better because look at her ratty hair in the, <laughs> in the back. <laughs> so we gotta fix that a little bit. <laughs> so I've got some extra right here. We're gonna cut this off. And then I'm gonna make this look a little better. And we also have to make a little area where the um, where it'll be hanging up, okay? So let me fix this a little bit. Let me put her down here and fix a little bit better some of the hair. And we might need to get a little more, I don't know. Let me um, pinch it here. Now, I'm not going all the way right here because this is where the hanger is and you don't want it to pull on the hair, so I'm kind of going around that. Now, let me get this area right here because there's nothing on the side. So, I'm going to pull some of the bottom up and we're just going to pinch it together. Thank you for those hearts. Thank you, Miss Pat. Let me get some more right here. 
You will be able to go through here if you need to. I'm going to pinch some of this to go on the top so you don't see that. And then put some underneath where the hanger is so it can go through where the hanger is. Now I'm going to get underneath here and kind of just put a bunch of glue. And we're just going to glue down this bottom part right in here. And I'm just holding it a little bit. You love her? I do too. I like her better than I thought. Now when I get the lace up near her neck, it's going to be so much better. I just don't know what I did with that. I used to have it in the cabinet right there, but um, whew, this is messy. All right, let's see. She's going to be so much better when you have that right there. Now, this little piece is kind of sticking out. So, I want to make sure I get that off. And some of this can go towards the side here. My goodness, she's so cute. She's way cuter than she was. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me see here. Now, let me get the halo. Okay. So I'm going to have to go through here. Let me see. There is the hole. Now I've got to twist it around a little bit to get it in there. And I really need to put a little bit of hot glue. So I'm going to go ahead and put a piece, a little bit of hot glue right here. And that way it'll stay in the hole better. I'm going to twist it a little bit. And the glue is coming undone right there because I keep twisting it. So let me get a little bit more and put it back the way it was. There we go. I almost think she needs to have it leaning on her. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's better than just sticking up. She she looks like she's getting in a lot of mischief. So I think I want her to have it crooked on there. Man, all these little things. Let me see. Let me show you. Let's see. I can't see anything. Let me put my glasses back on. But doesn't she look cuter with that? Now let me see. I keep going to the opposite side here. Goodness, she's cute, huh? So she'll be in the auction on Saturday. We're going to do an auction at 7 p.m. on Saturday. And I don't I keep, I go with the wrong side. Y'all like her hair hanging down over here? Or do you think I ought to cut it off right there? What do you think? Thank you for the hearts. You love her? I do too. She's so cute. And once I get that little lace up there, it's going to be even cuter. So much. What do y'all think about her hair over here? Or here? Here. <laughs> do you think I need to cut that? Like right, whoops, here? Snip it off? I think so too. I don't, I was trying to make it look flowy, but I don't think it looks good. Cut it even. Okay. I think so, too. All right. My goodness, she's so cute. She's way cuter than I thought she'd be. All right. Now look at her. Everybody said cut, and she said leave it. <laughs> I think it looks better with it even. Just the way it is. Well, I did it already. Thank you for the hearts. I think she looks cute with her halo crooked. And this is going to look so much cuter with a little bit of lace right here. Not a whole lot. But I like it. We're going to see what it looks like. It's so cute. And look at the little flowers down here. This makes it even cuter. See, I keep going the opposite way. Oh my goodness, I cannot do it. 
She's so cute. I'll take a picture of her on the wall. And that way y'all see what she looks like. Hey, Kate. You love her. Thank you so much. I hope y'all enjoyed this tonight. This was kind of working on the fly here. I've got this where it's all loop down here. It's so cute like that. I think this gray looks cute. And then to put this on, this on top of it. <laughs> That's what you like on the dress. I do too. I think it makes it so cute. It's going to look cute, you know, once she's hanging there. Hey, Susie. It's good to see you. You love her. I'm so glad. Hey, Allison Shaw. Thank you so much. Oh, Susie's from Denmark, y'all. What time is it in Denmark? Isn't it the middle of the night, Susie? Goodness, girl. I want to go to Denmark. That's on my bucket list. You'll have to tell me about Denmark. Thank you so much, Miss Vicky. I'm glad y'all enjoyed this. I think she's so cute. I don't know about y'all, but I just love to do angels. And I also like to do little girls, um, anything with dresses. And I think it has to do with that I have two sons and I don't have any daughters. And so I just like to do this more than anything. So I hope y'all don't get tired of my angels and my little girls. But I can't help it. You love her, Miss Lynn. Thank you so much, Miss June. Thank y'all for the hearts and everything. Yes, it's like six or seven hours later there. I'm in central time zone. Um, so right now it is 722. She's heavenly. Thank you for saying that, Miss Pat. I appreciate that. So she really is cute. I'll take a picture of her and post her later. I've got to find that lace so I can finish her a little bit right up here. And I might put a little bling right in the middle of it. Who could get tired of angels and little girls? I hope nobody, because I really love doing them. Never get tired of angels. I love them too. I just, and I'm going to do another craft with, um, for an angel. I've got these right here that I got at the thrift store. And so we're going to use this as the bottom of her dress. So we're going to do this. And then I've got another piece that I'm going to put on there. So um, I'm going to do that. We're going to do it probably on Friday. I can't remember. Did I have something else for Friday? I keep forgetting what I'm going to do. I keep thinking all these different things to do. So if we do that or we do whatever else I posted, I can't remember what I posted. So I'll have to go back and look. Thank you so much for saying that, Melissa. You're so sweet. I appreciate it. I try to come up with something all the time, but it may be a different angel or a pig or anything. I just love certain things, so I just keep doing it. So I hope y'all enjoy it. I appreciate you coming on tonight. I will be on about 6 Central on Friday, and hopefully y'all will come. I appreciate y'all watching me do my angel. This is totally different than she was. So um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. It seems like y'all did. You were going to redo a sign. Oh, that's right. I sure was. So we'll decide. We can do the chicken. That's right. I forgot I posted that. I knew I did. Okay. We can do the chicken sign or we can do the angel. So whichever one y'all want, y'all can just let me know. Oh, that's so sweet of you. I appreciate everybody being here. Thank you so much, Miss Lorna. Thank you, Miss Beth. Thank y'all for saying that. And I'll show our little angel here later on as soon as I find the lace. And I'll see y'all on Friday night. I appreciate you coming on. And I will see you then at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock on Friday Central. Do the angel, Miss Peggy said. <laughs> well, y'all can post on there after I get off. And whoever wins will do that. We can do the chicken thing on Sunday. Bye, y'all. You have a good day.